As for Ryan Johnson, that you've talked about with young players many times, maybe just give him a breath and, and give him a break. Yeah, I think it's an opportunity to decompress a little bit, see, see the game from a different uh, angle and perspective, and get a moment to breathe, which is not something you, you, it's a luxury uh, for a guy his age to, to kind of have a, have that uh, take a moment to breathe and, and uh, reset. Did you sense that Monday was just one of those games where he had one tough play and it became a second, it became a third, he just he just couldn't get out of it? Yeah, that, that was a tougher tougher game for him and, and obviously Eric is his partner that, that they both uh, had some challenges and, and I think it just um, you know, uh, Clegg is 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 the or was the seventh guy the other night. Um, he has plenty of experience with us, and we have plenty of trust and confidence in him. Um, so it's it's easy to slide him in. Um, he, he's been ready to go. He keeps himself ready to go, and consequently give uh, Ryan that moment to, uh, to to breathe a little bit and get a different different view. Clegg said he felt like last year he earned your trust as coaches. But he, he also feels he's better this year than he was last year. Is that the reports you've gotten from Seth and what you've seen from him? He is better. He was better day one of camp even and, and through training camp than he was last season. And um, that was one thing that we, one reason why we really wanted him back here um, was as coaches here. Um, we, we, he earned our trust you know, through the course of last year. Um, even in exit meetings, we expressed our, you know, our desire as coaches that, uh, you know, hope that he would he would be back with us. Um, and then even through training camp, explaining to him, and, and he knew, you know, the, the, just the message was stay ready for your opportunity, um, and in the process, keep getting better because you've done a great job of that, both of those, uh, and and that's what his career is going to be made upon. He's going to be. He's going to have to keep making himself better until the opportunity comes, and um, I'm excited that uh, where he's at and that he gets an opportunity tonight. You know, we talked about Monday's game and about the finish, but is not is the plan for this game is simply essentially play the same way, given the number of opportunities you were able to generate? Well, I mean, th this team tonight is pretty dynamic. They have some dynamic players, uh, and they get up and down the rink pretty quick. So... Um, you know, we'd love to have as many chances as we had the other night, um, but you definitely need to play with some some solid structure against this team. And um, you know, it's a, it, it, of course when you get the number of chances you had last night and the in the guys that had the chances and, and the fact that there were many point blank, um, you'd take that any night and and and, and go from there. Um, you know, we didn't make a lot of mistakes the other night. I would be happy with that. If we're talking about what to do, minimize the mistakes. And we did minimize them the other night. We just got burned up. Um, but, but we made far, far fewer mistakes than, uh, than maybe we forced. And uh, that was unfortunate. You guys are three and one in your last four times here. Just what kind of buzz does any team get from playing in this place? Well, it, it, it is a buzz playing in this place. You know, it's um, the history in this building or in the, you know, in the, in the Montreal organization. Um, you know, even in this building, this building is um, uh, is loud and, and crazy, and the guys feel it you know, even before. In your preparation, you know it. You know what you're going into. So uh, it's something that uh, it, it's easy for hockey players to get excited um, playing in a Canadian city, and specifically this one. Oh, and uh, was back today, but he had the yellow jersey on. Is he still a little ways away? Yeah, it, to, you know, we'll get a gauge now, um, but it's it's really. Um, you know, a, a pain tolerance and a vulnerability. You saw him taking shots and movement and motion. So there's only a couple movements that give him pain or needs to get strength in that area. Um, and so I'll get the report on how, how those progressed from yesterday when he skated. Um, and, and so, you know, from that, that means it's day to day now. And, and we'll see how fast that last you know, bit of pain resolves.